This week in the House of Representatives, we took up some really important bills that will impact the foster care system in the country. I've had roundtable discussions with a number of judges, with child care workers, and with CASAs, child advocates for children. And our courts are seeing a huge explosion of CHINS cases, that, which are children in need of services. And this is in large part because of the huge number of drug addicted parents and parents who are neglecting their children. And so those kids are being brought into the court system. And the court, in trying to protect them and keep them safe, has a huge need to find more foster families. So our bills, uh, one, allow more foster placements across state lines to either foster families across state lines or to relatives across state lines. Um, secondly, we try to ensure that children can be placed with their parents in residential treatment programs if that is appropriate. And third, it's to try to expedite the approval of relatives to be foster parents. So I hope this is something that really helps our kids who sadly are being impacted in, in a great way by their parents um, who have addictions. And I hope it will help our court system to find appropriate placements. Um, and uh, finally, I just want to thank all of those people who have stepped up to become foster parents or all of those family members who have taken their uh, children and grandchildren in, or nieces and nephews, or brothers and sisters' kids. And finally, I want to thank all those people who have agreed to be CASAs, child advocates in our courts for these children. They are often the only voice speaking on behalf of the child. So just want to thank everybody um, for their support and their input, and uh, really proud of the bills that we passed in the House this week. Mm -hmm.